A Wisconsin man's alive today thanks to some angels in the outfield at Nats Park. Pat Collins has his story. Nats Park, June 11th, 2022. A day to remember. It was Josh Bell's superhero bobblehead day. And the Nats had three home runs back to back to back. But the real save that day wasn't on the field. It was here in section 209. But I heard a noise coming from John and it sounded like a guttural, like in the throat noise. And I was like, what the heck is going on? And then I looked and he was turning blue. John and Rhonda Clements are baseball fans from Wisconsin. They were here that day for the Brewers game, sitting in the front row of section 209. That's where the heart attack happened. Do you think there was a moment there when you were dead? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they did CPR for 20 minutes, and they shot me three, four times. Uh, I think so. I, I, uh, I'm pretty sure. And what was that like? Um, it was peaceful. A lot of tears afterwards, thinking about it. Uh, a lot of... Um, a lot of... Things I wanted to tell my family back here, like my brothers and my sisters, look them in the eye and say, hey, I love you, man. Enter now Jamie Jill, an Arlington County EMT, and Lindy Prevat, an emergency room nurse. Two medical relievers who worked together that day to save John Clement's life. They were sitting in different sections. They saw something was wrong, and they sprung into action. He looked blue in the face, and I asked if he had a pulse, and nobody could really tell me. She asked for an AED. She did about two minutes of compressions. Then I took over, started doing compressions. Back and forth, back and forth. Back, yep, back and forth every two minutes. And then meanwhile, in the background, I could see the game going on, and I'm like, this is just unbelievable. The score of the game that day, Washington 8, Milwaukee 6. But we know who the real winner was. How you can say, I'm glad it happened there when then those two guardians were there to revive me. Things happen for a reason, my friends. They really do. I'm Pat Collins, News 4 Watch.